Good morning, it is Monday morning, weekly vlog five, I'm on my way to work, and a very echoey lift. So I'm on my way over to work now and got a jam-packed week ahead as always. Had such a nice weekend though. Me and Hannah really enjoyed just relaxing, seeing a bit more Tian Gym, went for a nice little walk on Saturday which was really nice. Um, so feeling refreshed after the weekend. Um, so looking forward to this week, it should be good. break time and I'll be honest I forgot to have my breakfast this morning so I popped to the cafe we have a cafe at our school I popped to the cafe to get some breakfast good evening so it is Monday evening now and I'm heading home I say evening I actually managed to finish work pretty early it's like 20 past four so I managed to get all my work done today and all my like, up to date with everything my lesson plans for this week and all my resources are done I'm just getting the dinner ready. I have put some garlic bread in the oven because I'm craving some garlic bread today. And we have got some salads each. Sorry, the lighting in my kitchen is so bad. Um, so we've got some salads each and from 7-Eleven, I also picked up this noodle thing. I'll show you in a minute. And it looks really cool. So I'm gonna microwave that. And I've also got a spaghetti that we picked up from there as well. So we're gonna have a kind of a mixed match of a dinner, but I'm looking forward to it. So this is like the noodle dish. You have like green beans and carrots in there. And apparently, I'm gonna put this sauce in as well. So I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it should be interesting. Good morning, it is Wednesday morning and I'm on my way to work now. We had a very busy day yesterday, so I must admit I didn't pick up the camera much, but it was a pretty jam packed day and I ended up coming home and doing more work and then going to bed quite late so today Wednesday new day my better day and yeah let's go to school so I got my first birthday gift from one of the children next door and I don't even know what it is this is my amazing TA who I've mentioned before Miss Jessie Miss Jessie what is it it's Mahua it's a traditional Tianjin snack is it nice? Um, some <laughs> people like it, some not really. Will I like it? You can try. Oh good, thanks. <laughs> good morning, it is Thursday, I'm on my way to work now and it is my birthday. <laughs> So today is a normal day at school today. We have literacy and maths, um, which I always enjoy. And we also have science, which is great because the kids love science, so it's always good fun. Um, I actually have a cake arriving, so I'll be having cake at the end of the day. Um, and it should be fun. Like So after that, I'm actually gonna try and get out of work at a reasonable time. And me and Callum are gonna head to my favorite restaurant, which is called Tebanyaki, which is a Japanese buffet place. So you have like a massive menu, you pay a set price. I think it's 220 RMB. You have unlimited beer and wine. You have unlimited um, food, and basically you can just choose what you want. And then they have like a chef in front of you that cooks it. So I'm so excited for that. It's gonna be so much fun. So I'm at school now, and I'm gonna tell you I have been well and truly spoilt. So it is break time, and my kids are just adorable. So I've got lots and lots of lovely gifts for my birthday. And I thought I'd show you them because they're just so cute. First of all, one of the other TAs knew that I liked um, cake. <laughs> so she bought me breakfast uh, of a chocolate donut and some Coca-Cola. Always good. 
And if I, if I start over here, this is my very messy desk. I've lost it under all of this. So I showed you this yesterday, which is a snack. One of my other children bought some Lindor things that me and my TA have started munching way through. Um, and they made a little rose. And this here is a gift from my TA Jessie. It's a, a, a lovely little necklace. So that should be nice. I'm going to try and wear that tonight. Um, and so that's that. In here, one of the girls like made a pot for me and then has some like, uh, I think it's, yeah, berry cheesecake. And this type of cheesecake is really popular here in uh, Tianjin in like a bakery called Holland. Another girl's got me kind of like a bag of different types of chocolate in there. And another girl, <laughs> we had, we used Pink Panther music for our count, like our tidy up one, our tidy up song. And um, so one of the girls has got me like a, a, a notebook and a card and a mini pink panther as well. Um, so then I also got some Himalayan pink salted caramel chocolates which look amazing. I might actually have to save these till Christmas because I reckon my father-in-law would love these. Um, and then some Ferrero Rochers. And I've got these two beautiful uh, bouquets of flowers and I realised I don't even own a vase. Do you know what? I've never owned a vase in my life, so I need to get one of ours uh, to put these in. One of the mums in my class has like a, works like a beauty store, so she's got me kind of like a serum. I'll just open it here. She's got me a, a serum that's from her, her store, Esther Lord. I don't know how to say that, but I've never try that, so I'm going to try that. And I'm so impressed with this. So I think I mentioned yesterday we watched MasterChef and MasterChef last night was the episode in season nine where they were making a Black Forest Gatto. Now I've been with my husband for eight years, nearly eight years now, and I have not known him to particularly like cakes that much. The only cake I know he likes is banoffee pie, so it's not really a cake. Anyway, we were watching this, this program and he was like, oh, I used to love a Black Forest Gatto. I was like, what? You don't like cake? And I, so I literally learned last night that he liked Black Forest Gatto. And today, two children have come in with cake for me for my birthday, bless them. And one of them is a Black Forest Gatto. So I will take that home. It's a massive cake. So we, I'm not sure if we're both going to be able to eat it. I might take it home and have a slice of calam and then bring it back. And then leave it in the staff room for the TAs because it is massive. And I've got two as well, so. So this is my Black Forest Gatto cake. I'm not sure if you can see it through the hole there. And then this is another cake in here. And this girl is so cute. She's put like happy birthday. She's a Chinese student. And uh, she's put happy birthday in Korean and Chinese. And I'm thinking this is French perhaps. I don't know. Bless her. Oh, you'll see that they call me Mrs. Oh, it's because my surname is quite a long surname, um, which they struggle to pronounce. So we call it Mrs. Oh, an easier one. <laughs> And my TA, I like to ask what random things are that we've had. And in last week's one, I ate this. So I was trying to ask her what it was called. What is it called, Jessie? Because you seem to think I can pronounce these words. Jaco. Again? Jaco. And was I right? Is it lotus flower? No. Oh, what is it? Mm, it's kind of rice. That's the white bit. What's the best bit? It just yeah. fried it. Oh, you, you mean the inner part? Yeah. Um, red bean. Mashed oh. red bean. Oh, it did taste like red bean. Now you say it. <laughs> Thanks, Jessie, for all your words of wisdom. So I picked up a cake. Well, I say I. Miss Jessie ordered me a cake for me, for the children, and it's perfectly cut. And which one do you want, Miss Jessie? Huh? Which one did you say you wanted? Mm, I want the biggest the chocolate one. <laughs> okay. So maybe this one? Okay, you can have that one. <laughs> so one of my students bought me this cake. I don't I know what you it is. Have this one. Oh, you think I should have that one? What's in it? I don't know, but it looks like a cheesecake. That's what I like. I like cheesecake. What's this on top of here? American peanut. Why is it specifically American peanuts? Because Chinese peanuts have to look like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, I was saying, before Miss Jessie interrupted, another student got me this. <laughs> they don't know what's in it. It's red. But I'm going to, me and Callum are not going to take it home because I can't, we can't eat two cakes. I am going to take this one home. Don't worry, this massive one. But I'm not going to take this one home. So I'm going to put it in the TA's room and find out what's in it. Mm, I can't tell you. 
it's too sweet. So it's come mango. It's mango. It's mango. Jessie's cut herself the biggest slice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of course, the biggest one. <laughs> So it's obviously my birthday, so we are going out for dinner and we are in one of my favourite restaurants which apparently is pronounced Taru, but we know it as tebanyaki because it is the Japanese style tebanyaki food where you get to order, we have like a buffet thing, so it's 289 RMB, all you can eat, all you can drink and they just have like the most amazing seafood, they have the most amazing meat and you watch it being cooked in front of you and our first dish has already arrived, so we've ordered some duck breast. So we've got some duck breast and some sashimi because Callum loves his tuna sashimi. That's your one. <laughs> Order whatever you want and then they bring it to the chef like on these plates and then he starts cooking them up we have snail coming so I'm not even gonna pretend to tell you what we ordered because I'm not entirely sure but I know we ordered lamb chops because they have amazing lamb chops here and I know we ordered what is this pan? beef beef cheek or something like that this is I always think it's cheese but it's not cheese um, we also have some scallops because they're amazing here and they have some snail here as well so I'm looking forward to trying some snail too We ordered it, so it arrived. Can I give it a go? Mm. Oh. No, we haven't had it together. Oh. I've had this before. Mother, if you're watching this, Benidorm. They have these at Benidorm at our hotel, the Plaza. I grew up going to Benidorm every year. And I used to live off these. They're quite good. Our lamb chops have arrived. And I reckon that's cod. So they had cod and salmon. So we've ordered some cod and salmon. So I reckon this is our cod. So honestly, I'm actually not the biggest of lamb chop eaters back in the UK. But these are absolutely incredible lamb chops. They are kind of like, they're tender, but they're tough enough to enjoy. They've got like, you season them with like spring onion and a bit of salt. They just taste so good. Amazing, just amazing. some more sashimi and this one's got some prawns, salmon, no tuna, this is salmon, what's this then? <laughs> oh, can you try it so I can tell my camera? It's still very important. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was that sorry Gavin? <laughs> you are having an issue with the napkins aren't you? This steak is amazing, just let's take a moment to look at it, it's just pretty. Right, does anybody know what this is? Callum's eaten two, but he still doesn't know what it is. You've got to guess at least, Callum. I've, I've no idea. It looks like a fin. 
So, I know that he doesn't appear on the camera too much, but Callum, my husband, likes to try anything that looks unusual. So, what is it that you've ordered? Sea cucumber. Sea cucumber, which I thought was just like a vegetable from the sea. No, what is it? It looks like a massive snail. Sounds appetizing. Thanks for that. Looks delightful. I mean, look at it. <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but the chef doesn't like me. No, it's like slug. <laughs> so you know when like in England and it gets colder and you get like slugs in the back garden? And you like, so we used to have a thing where in our garden we used to have this area where a slug would always appear in the winter and we had to walk out the back to get to the garage, which I, we had like an extra fridge in. And I remember walking in there often in socks and then stepping on this slug. That feel of stepping on a slug is what's happening in my mouth right now. Not good. So the best part about this place is that you can like just order whatever you want, as much as you want of it. And they have like these menus that you can look through and choose what you want and then they'll like make it in front of you. So we've had quite a bit of food now and I was like, do you know what? Let's just order a few more little bits that we haven't had before that we want to try. And they keep having this thing that looks like an egg. And I was like, I don't know what that is because you can't ever see what's in it. I don't know what it is. So I ordered it and then I just saw the translation after I ordered like, one each and it has goose liver in it. Should be fun. <laughs> this here. So I kind of ordered some more sashimi with some salmon ones this time. I ordered some corn tempura because I love tempura and beyond Callum's mess over here. What is that? Crab claws. Claws. Crab claws. Excellent. Should be nice. But I'm going to see this discreetly because I don't want to look rude, but everyone seems to be drinking the same thing here. They either drink like what looks like a fruit juice, sorry, it's pretty loud. They either drink like what looks like a fruit juice or they drink something that looks like milk. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to have to ask Jessie on this one because it looks a bit strange. Uh, our egg with goose leather, liver has arrived. What liver is it again? Goose liver. So this is egg with goose liver. <laughs> oh, like yeah, it looks like yogurt Alan. Oh, I'm not sure if we'll enjoy this. Oh, it's an old egg. You know like the old eggs they have here? It's not a normal egg. So sorry, in China they have like, I don't know what they're called, like old eggs. I don't know, the correct term for it is. I'll find out tomorrow and let you know. And I'll ask Jesse, but they have like old egg things, like that. Yeah, it So, I wanted to show you this. This is how they advertise this restaurant. I missed it again. <laughs> Callum's trying to take a photo to show his mum. There you go, it's on the vlog now, Callum. This is how they advertise their restaurant. Hello, so it's Friday and I have had a bit of a busy morning. It's now lunchtime and to be honest, I normally have my lunch with the children, but I realised that 
there were still a few bits and bobs I needed to do before the weekend that I wanted to get done and this afternoon's going to be quite busy so I thought I'd get them done now um, but I wanted to quickly show you so I think I've mentioned my lunch at school before so our school provide lunches sometimes I bring my own and sometimes I have the school lunches and generally they tend to have a western dish and a, a, like an Asian dish or a Chinese dish um, and they also have a sandwich bar to be honest like if I'm going to be brutally honest I have had the like for the food before and occasionally I do but more often or not I just don't like it and it's not because it's like Asian I normally have I sometimes have the Western food and it's just not that well done like I don't know if it's our Cajun company or if it's just because they're they're making it for like that you know they're cooking it for local children or I don't know I'm just not a fan um so but I do have the sandwiches, so I've got a wrap today. I've got two little wraps today, so I thought I'd quickly show you them. Today I've got egg mayo, cheese and bacon, because, you know, they don't often have bacon, so when they do have bacon, I often have it here. And they always have, like, a little yoghurt and these types of drinks. So I've got, like, a, a peach drink today, but I thought I'd get on with some work and have a bit of a working lunch today. Another thing as well, actually, um, I got another gift today. So one of the children who... Um, went in yesterday, came and gave me a gift today, and it's like tea bags. Um, well, I say tea bag, it's like Chinese tea. Ooh, I'm just trying to get out of this bag. It is this. So this is like these Chinese tea, this Chinese tea. I'm not sure if it's in bags or not. I feel, it feels like it's like green. So me and Callum have um, a Chinese tea set at home that like filters it. So I might have some of this on the weekend. But the children in my class, a lot of the um, like um, the, the 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 girls in my class, a lot of them really like drinking the tea, and they said this is a good type of tea. So I'm going to try that on the weekend, I think. So it is nearly half past two, and we have a free period, and the children are in Mandarin. So I was just asking Miss Jessie about this egg thing that we had last night in Tebinyaki, and she tried to describe it to me. So she can describe it to you because I don't know what it is. I'm waiting for you to be ready with the right translations, Miss Jessie. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's just a normal egg. They just uh, boil your eggs, um, the, the crack it, so they have to, they're already cracked. And then they take a um, part off, and then they boil your egg. And then they put sea urchin on top. Okay. Why was it grey on the inside? I think because of the steam. Okay. So it's just a normal egg? It's just a normal egg. It didn't taste like a normal egg though. Because they put the, um, the, the sea urchin and other seasonings inside. Oh, okay. And tell me about this black egg. Miss Jessie mentioned a black egg that I don't think we had, but I'm intrigued because it says the sort of dirt and chemicals. Explain. It's not dirty chemicals. <laughs> Okay. No, dirt and chemicals. Dirt and the chemicals. Okay. So I will first show you what it looks like. So this is called preserved dark egg. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's, it's a shell when you get off the shell, as you can see, it's a black egg. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so that means I will tell you how do we make a less egg. Indeed, we didn't boil it. Mm -hmm. um, we just use special way. We put um, wait a moment. What's the chemical here? So we use mud. And then we put some chemicals like uh, lime. Lime? Yeah. Like lime juice? That's the powder lime. Okay. Chemicals. We put chemicals on it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, like a building, for the building, you put the, um, how can you make cre uh, concrete? Cement. I don't know, I'm not a builder, I'm a teacher. Cement and some lime inside. Okay, I'm gonna okay. go with you, this carry on. This kind of thing, that's that powder. <laughs> okay. They put that powder in the mud, and they mix it, and then they, um, they use this mud to cover all the egg. Uh-huh. Okay, with a shell, okay? Okay, There's a shell I'm there, I'm there, yeah. yeah. On, on the shell, mm -hmm. and so, because um, the mud has water inside, so the water with the, the lime will have chemical change. 
Okay. So get the the chemical energy. Mm -hmm. So this energy will uh, like a uh, kind of boil. It's not boil. It's how to cook the egg. Okay. So over ten days, the egg being cooked. So the egg stays in the mud for ten days. Yes. Okay. And then, then you can get all the mud off, and mm -hmm. then you can eat it. That's the the preserved duck egg. Lovely. Where do I get one of these from? Any market. Can I get one for Callum and pretend it's a normal egg? Uh, it's not look like a normal egg because the outside shell is a little bit dark already. Okay. But not black. It's just a little bit. It's not white anymore. Okay. I will look for that then. Thanks, Miss <laughs> Jessie. So I can get it from any market. Any market. All right. I'm going to look for that this weekend. Thanks, Miss Jessie. Welcome. So it is a Friday and I bought this home yesterday we ate too much food in Tebanyaki so we didn't have some but I'm going to have some tonight. This is a chocolate gatto cake that one of my students gave me for my birthday. Mm -mm -mm. In true Ramsay style. Look at that perfectly even one millimetre apart layers, I don't know. He's always quite obsessive about his millimetre layers in Black Forest Gatto, but look how amazing that looks. Excited! Hello, it is Saturday and it's kind of midday. So we kind of we woke up at six o'clock this morning, wide awake, and we sat and kind of did a bit of um bits and bobs like looked at emails together and then watched React on YouTube and then fell asleep. So we were just rewoken. Um and yes, it's midday, and we were going to go out for like a nice walk today, but the pollution's not very good. So, in honesty, so I'm by my door, I'm by the window, because when the pollution is bad, there's not much light in our apartment. It is quite dark and like grey, um, so that's why I'm by the window. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the problem, like we love China, and we love a lot of things about China. Um, we live in North China, so the pollution... In the south of China, it's really nice. Like when we travelled in the south of China, there was, you know, there was hardly any pollution. But because we live in a place called Tianjin, the pollution can get quite bad at certain times of the year. It's normally about this time. Like in the summer, it's fine, um, and it's not all the time either. Like I think that is something that before we moved here, a lot of people were like, "Oh no, the pollution's bad all the time." It's not. It's like. The odd time, the odd day or two in October, November, it does start to get a bit bad. And today it's 166, which isn't that bad. Like, sometimes here it can get over to 200, over 300 even. Um, and that's a rarity. But for us, we don't particularly like going out for a walk if it's over 100 to 120. Because it's just not that good for you, you know. And uh, they have, I'll show you the app actually. So we use an app to monitor the pollution and it's the AQI app let me just find it it's like the air visual app I'm not sure if you can see it just there it has like a notification on it and and this is like the logo and so so we live in Tianjin and this is our kind of like nearest one and today it's 162 at the moment um, which is kind of deemed as unhealthy and if you click on it um, you can scroll down and it shows you the type of pollution it is so there's like five types of pollution and this one over here that's red is like the most dangerous one it's pm 2.5 and at the moment it's 77 which is really high and it's kind of from like power plants it says it's from power plants and you can get it from motors but it's generally kind of like chemical reaction gases and stuff so it's from the factories and stuff around here um and the problem is, so I'll just, <laughs> so this sounds like such a downer. I'm not moaning, I am just thought I'd let you know because I don't want, like, I really enjoy our life in China, but I'm not going to pretend that it doesn't go without its flaws. And this is one of them. So because the pollution isn't great, we're going to stay in today. We're going to do a really busy working day. We've ordered some lunch. We've got some hot dogs coming randomly. And yes, we're just going to have a working day inside. Good morning. It is Sunday morning and I'm actually halfway through doing my makeup because today I'm going to be filming some videos. But just as I was doing my eyes, the lunch came. So we're going to have some sukiyaki like we had a few weeks ago because it's my favourite. And yeah, we also have some Cali 4 shopping actually arriving between 1 and 2. So I've got that first and then I will start filming. 
So our grocery shopping has arrived and I just thought I'd put it out on the table to kind of show you. And I've also got our kind of like lighting setup going on. Callum's got his beef in the background as well. And uh, so I was just gonna quickly show you what we've got for our groceries. So it's just a kind of quick little grocery haul. Um, there is only kind of one item of each. There's a few more like duplicates of stuff that I just put in the fridge already. But I thought I'd quickly run you through. So we really like this vitamin water. So we've got a few of those, a few dark coats and Sprite Zeros. I've got some apples. Now these were like, um, it's quite difficult to get apples uh, here that are nice. So I thought I'd give these a try. They're quite big, which is quite nice. Um, this is some spinach. And I bought some a, a big pack of bacon, which is actually like a double pack here, you can see. Um, so that'd be great for when we have pasta and when we have, I'm going to make some pizza this week as well. So we can cut that up and put that in there. I've also got some chicken breasts. and I've got another pack of this in the freezer as well um, for our curries and fajitas and nachos. I've got some carrots. Um, I've got some tomatoes, very big tomatoes here. Uh, these, I thought, like they were pumpkins. And I thought it would come as a one big pumpkin, but it's not. It's two little pumpkins. I wanted to see if I could make like Halloween face things, but I'm not sure if that'll work because they're so small. I've got some bread for breakfast. I've got some lettuce um, for our fajitas and avocados in there as well for our nachos. Some peppers and some little mini broccoli as well. So that's kind of a quick carry for. I got all this from carry for and I ordered it at about half past 11. It's now half past one, so it's just arrived. So it took about two hours to get here. Um, that's kind of a quick shopping haul. And like I said, so I think we've got like seven diet sprites, seven diet cokes and four vitamin waters, two chickens and a bit more uh, peppers as well. And they had two bags of them. And I think all of that came to around 300 RMB, I think with deliveries just under 300 RMB, so it wasn't too expensive. So it's still Sunday and I'm in my third dress of the day. It's now like four o'clock and I've spent about two and a half hours filming videos. So I thought I'd just have a quick break. Um, so I'll show you my setup. So I'll just quickly show you this. This is where I film my videos. This is a Callum's Canon camera here. So like the actual living room is quite dark. Like this is our dining area and our living room's there. But the dining area bit is quite dark because if I put the light on, you get like this really annoying orange light that changes the, the lighting of the shot. So I keep the lights off and then we have these two, um, I don't know, box lights do we call them? Two lightings here and then the camera. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the, the basic setup. Um, and today, I've just been kind of filming videos, like advice videos of stuff. So like, um, I just filmed a video about like tips for travel in China. And I also have done a video about like tips for visiting the Harry Potter and Warner Brothers studio tour and things like that. So videos that I wanted to do and I've kind of like planned. And to be honest, it's really not, high tech at all i just literally have notes on my notes of all the videos i want to do and then i then like have a little section so i'm about to film 10 things i love about living in china and i've literally just done some notes on my thing so i will work through them now um yeah so i've got this video to do and i've got one or two introductions of videos to do that i want to kind of like do voiceover for and yeah i'm done and i think this evening I'm going to try and finish by five so that we can just relax for a little, bar, a little bit and then have fajitas for dinner um, and get a decent night's sleep. Right, so that is the end of Sunday. I have spent a good four hours filming videos, which feels like a very long time. Um, so I finished doing that and put my dining room back to normal um, and just played a little bit of GTA and I'm gonna make some fajitas soon. So yeah, that's Sunday. 
I'm gonna make some fajitas and then just kind of copy across all the footage to my hard drive. I'm ready to start editing tomorrow. And I'm gonna sign off the weekly vlog here to add that to the weekly vlog because I've already kind of edited the first part of the week. And yeah, that's my Sunday. So thank you very much for watching this weekly vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for staying with it all the way through to the end of the week. Um, if you have any questions, by the way, about general my life and life in China, do let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, thanks for enjoying this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching it. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you hit subscribe for some more weekly vlogs and give me a thumbs up. Until next time, bye.